everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Rhea. I'm going to check her spine. She is six months pregnant. This is our first child together. We are so blessed. We don't know the gender yet, but when we do, we'll let you know. So, <laughs> I'm going to check her entire spine to see if she needs an adjustment. So I'm going to start by checking where her skull fits onto the top vertebra. And to see, I can feel muscle tension back here, but I don't feel any restriction or fixation of the joint. And then I'm touching a part of the bone that sticks off to the sides of the top vertebra. They're called the transverse process. To see if this bone is restricted, and it is restricted when I turn her head forward. On the right side, that can cause headaches and dizziness and blurred vision and sinus trouble. Checking your second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, ooh, restricted at the seventh vertebra and the first rib vertebra, T1. I would be checking her with a heat sensing instrument. The one I have is called a temposcope. It's part of the Gonstead method, but I don't have it here at home. It is at the office. She has a restriction right at her sixth thoracic or rib vertebra. <clears throat> the last ultrasound did show that our baby is lying sideways or in a transverse position, meaning the baby is in a breech position. On our next video, I will demonstrate the Webster technique of turning the baby into the proper position for a natural, uncomplicated birth. And a restriction on her right sacrum, which is one reason the baby may not have turned yet. So Ray, I'm going to have you sit here facing this way. This is not part of the Gonstead method or technique. But I'm still going to be adjusting the vertebra that needs to be moved. And my hand, even though she's leaning back on it, will be pushing the vertebra forward. Inhale. And exhale. And it moved before I even pushed. So this time I am going to help you sit up. Ready? One, two, three. Did that hurt your tummy? No. Good. Thank you. Now I'm going to have you lie on your right side. <laughs> and I'll be doing what's called a pull move on the third lumbar vertebra. Just double checking the restriction of the segment or the vertebra by moving her leg up and down. And I'm going to traction the vertebra down and get my forearm at the proper angle. Perfecto. And now on the left side. right posterior sacrum. And for those of you familiar with the Gonstead system, I am going to do a push contact with a full stabilization of my leg and oh. Oh. there we go. Double push, double clutch it. Getting a little harder for her to get. So now I'm going to adjust her first thoracic vertebra. And I'll be contacting that with the tip of my index finger. <clears throat> P1. 
Beautiful. Nice. So now I'm going to adjust her atlas. It is rotated forward on the right, so I'll be turning her head slightly back toward me. And I'm making a contact with the tip of my thumb. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notifications of our future videos. And if you have any questions or have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you would, share this video with somebody as well. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye.